Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a child seat in the back of your 2024 Honda Ridgeline. Doesn't matter whether you got the Sport, the Trail Sport like I have, or the Black Edition. What I'm going to show you is going to apply. And the video was precipitated by some friends of mine. I actually, they, they reached out and borrowed a couple of child seats. And when I watched them trying to install them into the back of their uh, Toyota RAV4, I just about had a heart attack. So being an ex-instructor, I thought it was kind of a... Uh, obligation for me to you know do this kind of a video so that's why I'm doing it so with no further ado let's jump in we'll take a look okay so to install child seats in the back of the ridge line you have to know where the anchors are and in this vehicle you've got one here there's a button here, a little tab that tells you where it is. And I can put my finger on it here so that you can clip on your child seat loops. So there's one here, one here on both outboard seats. In the middle, on my vehicle, there's one on the outside. Well, there's two again, but there's also a third one for the center strap on your child seat. So remember that one because it's different. So on the center seat, the hook is here in the middle of the seats. And on the outside two seats, the child anchor is down on the side. And I'm gonna show you that in detail in a second. Now, the other thing you need to know is that the other anchors you have to, to use, there's one here, one here, and one here. Why don't I have my headrest on? Because I very seldom have adults in the back of my truck. It's mostly grandkids, so that's why. So anyways, this thing here, when I first went to install, uh, do my first installation of a car seat in the truck, I tried to take the upper strap and hook it on here. This thing's like half an inch thick bar. That's not what it's for. It's actually for a strap. So let's get into this and I'll show you how it works right now. Okay guys, so the next most important thing to understand now that we know where the child anchors are is that the seat belts work off of a pendulum. Pretty straightforward. I mean, if the car is impacted, the belt is gonna jam. There, it's just jammed there. Okay, so that part of it is simple to understand. The other thing you need to know is that if you pull the seat belt all the way to the end, you hear that ratcheting going back, that's so that you can use the seat belt to install a child seat. So you run your seat belt through, you clip it in, and then you can pull the belt all the way to the end of its travel and just pull it so that it ratchets the seat down tight. And believe me, that child seat is not going anywhere. And so uh, let's put the seat in now and give you the actual demonstration and then you'll have one good example that you can follow should you have the opportunity to put car seats in your car. Okay guys, so we've already had the discussion about the upper seat strap or the uh, strap that's gonna go around the loop. So let's do that. I can just take that here now. I can run it through the loop like so. I got my seat in the right position. Now I'm just going to take this strap and run it down and hook it onto the anchor down on the outboard side of the seat. So that's step one. Now, this particular seat doesn't have the two straps that go to the anchors between the cushion, but it does have the seat belt. So in this case, what I'm going to do is just take the strap and I'm going to, I can lift up this little tab here. I can run the seat belt through to the other side, okay, and then the last step, which is a little awkward, but I can do it. I can clip it into the seat belt like so. Now the belt just normally retracts. So we already had the discussion about the seat belts ratcheting. So here's what you do, last step. Hear the ratchet? Now, you get the seat belt snugged in like so, and it's not going anywhere. And that's all there is to installing the child seat. The other thing I would tell you is that, and I saw this just recently, my uh, daughter-in-law, she had a new car seat and it had some, uh, a really interesting uh, flap here. So in this case, there's a little cushion that lifts up. On her seat, it was a plastic panel that lifted up and you could actually get in and run the seat belt through. And I thought that was really cool. So when you're looking for child seats, um, 
I'm not sort of promoting any brand. This is an even flow platinum series. You know, it's an older car seat. You know, take a couple of minutes, take a good look at the car seat, figure out what is you need for your situation, make the best decision, and then install the car seat properly and your child will be safe. And at the end of the day, that's what we're all looking for, right? Okay, guys, so here we go. Right here. So this hook here, that's where that upper strap comes around the top and comes down on the outside and hooks onto here to anchor your seat on the rear seat of the 2024 Ridgeline Trail Sport. Easy peasy. Okay guys, so let's wrap this thing up. Installing child seats in the back of the Ridgeline is pretty straightforward. So if we talk about what's between the cushions, you've got two anchor points on the two outboard seats, you've got three in the center seat, you've got a strap loop over each of the three seats and on the outboard of the two rear seats down below the seats just like I showed you you've got two extra anchors for the center straps on the two outside seats and the only other thing I can add to this is that you know we had a saying when I was teaching for Honda and it, it kind of goes like this you may have heard it before RYFM read your manual okay and I'm guilty of it. Guys are terrible for that, right? Like I've made lots of mistakes like that. For the child seat, just read through the information, look at the install guide, follow what it tells you to do, okay? You, you shouldn't circumvent those safety specs or that the information that comes with the child seat. And pick a child seat that's easy to install. I actually saw one recently where, so I showed you with the even flow seat, I had to slide the belt through the back of the seat. But this one, I think it was my daughter-in-law that had it. She, you know, it has a flap, like right where the child is sitting, it has a flap that lifts up and it gives you easier access to run that belt through the back of the seat. So those are the kind of things that you want to look for. There's a lot of innovation out there today. And so pick what's going to work for you. If you found this video useful, do me a big favor. Hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell for me. I really appreciate it. The, the channel has grown because of these car reviews that I'm doing. I'm going to be retiring soon. I'm going to keep doing more videos like this. So that's the way I'm going to thank you guys for showing some love to the channel. So that's it for this one, guys. Have a great summer. We'll see you in the next one.